Hey there, um, today is October 3rd and I'm just uh, doing a little pre-video here before my next flight. It's been a, quite some time um, between my last flight and, uh, and today. It's early October, um, nice day out so we're not going to have any weather issues. Um, so just to kind of bring you up to speed on what's happened with me, um, I got my logbook here so I figured I'd just quickly go over like what I've done so far and, and some of the hiccups I've had. Um, just to kind of recap, I started flying first day back again after 17 years was on March 23rd of 2018. Um, it went very well. I, I, I flew on March 23rd, April 2nd, April 3rd, April 12th, April 18th, April 20th, May 9th. So I had a nice series of flights there in a row and I was making very good progress. Um, if you recall from the other videos, um, Sebastian was happy with me even on day one. Um, so I was off to a really good start and um, I was feeling good. And then I had a big gap here, um, and I don't know why, it's work, you know, it, just distractions. Um, so I flew on May 9th, and then I didn't fly again until June 8th. And I think it was a little bit of a scheduling issue as well, because I do have, um, I flew with another instructor in between on June 8th. And then I flew back again with Sebastian almost a little over a month later, July 11th. So then, so you had a really good series of flights, then you had J May 9th, another month later June 8th and then another month later July 11th and that's not a good way to get you to where you want to be um, with those kind of gaps and the thing is three flights back I was pretty much ready to go on my own um, and then Sebastian was fortunate enough to get a really cool job flying um, a Cessna Caravan a Amphib and that kind of took him for the summer sort of out of I, I kept trying to schedule with him and I didn't want to go with another instructor who was going to have to like, because I was so close to being, you know, on my own. Um, I didn't want to have to let the other instructor, you know, wait to like get them to know me after a series of lessons. No instructor in their right mind, not knowing me, would um, would want to do that. They would, you know, they would want to take a series of lessons and, and, and get to know me, um, especially knowing the amount, the break I've had in my flying. So. I just kept thinking I was going to get in t get with Sebastian a couple of times and it just did not happen. In hindsight, if I knew that was going to happen, I would have definitely gone with another instructor, you know, and, and tried to get the sign off so that I could fly on my own and not be at the mercy of the schedule for the instructor at least and just start, you know, flying and, and having fun. So here I am. Last lesson was July 11th. That's August, September. It's been... I mean, in, in 10 days, it'll be three months. So um, I don't know where the time goes. So like the summer just kind of came and went and um, here I am, I'm getting try to get back to this. Sebastian's back on a regular schedule and we'll see the way this takes me. Um, wish me luck. Taxiway Alpha between Alpha 4 and Alpha 5 close until further notice. IFR departures advise ground control for taxi at your IFR. Read back all runway holds, short instructions. Read back all runway assignments. Read back all altitude assignments. Advise your public tower and initial contact. You have ATIS information, Papa. Information, Papa. Republic Airport information, Papa. Time 1426 Zulu observation. Wind 230 at 9 or visibility 10. Ceiling 1800 broken. Temperature 21, dew point 18. Optimeter 3006. ILS approach you are sitting upon your runway 14. Notice to Airman, Babylon NDB not monitored. Runway 119 are closed until further notice. Taxiway Alpha between Alpha 4 and Alpha 5 closed. Got everything I need. Notice. The winds were 230 at 9. Advise ground nine. control for taxi at your IFR. Actually, Read we put that in, right? So. Instructions. Read back all runway assignments. Read back all altitude assignments. Advise your public tower and initial contact. You have eight That's uh, barometric and heading bug. Yep. Either one? Yeah. Okay. Republic Airport information. Uh, when it comes, uh, since we're going to start doing instrument training, I would highly advise just using runway heading. Zero. Ceiling one. Uh, because pretty much most of the time when you depart, you're just going to be flying runway heading. So you want to have that heading bug set so that the second you get in the clouds, you have that reminder of where you need to be. Babylon NDB not monitored. Okay. Runway 119 are closed until further notice. Taxiway Alpha between Alpha 4 and Alpha 5 closed until further notice. 
I have fought a part to advise ground control for uh, Just drive. double check which runway we're using. Short instructions. Read back all runway assignments. Read back all altitude assignments. Advise your public tower and initial contact. You have ATIS information, Papa. Republic Airport information, Papa. Time 1426 Zulu observation. Wind 230 at Niner, visibility 10. Ceiling 1800 broken. Temperature 21, dew point 18. Altimeter 3006. ILS approaching you, it's landing in the party, runway 14. 14, that's why you said that. Not monitored. Runway 119 are closed until further notice. 19 would make sense Between with the winds, but it's closed, so. Until further notice. I have far departures advised ground. Republic ground, Cessna 1158 Victor, NASA flyers, like to taxi to the active for a straight out departure with Papa. Cessna 1158 Victor, Republic ground, runway 14 at Charlie. Taxi via cross runway 19er at the approach end, Charlie. Go make it. Hey, why don't you give that call back? Oh, you can just ask him to say again. Uh, please repeat, uh, 58 Victor. Cessna 58 Victor, runway 14 at Charlie, taxi via cross runway 19 at the approach end, Charlie, straight out the request. Just say, uh, 14 Charlie, cross 19, Golf 7. Uh, 14 cross, uh, 19 uh, at Charlie. The way he read it was really weird. It's like, but basically, we're crossing 19 at Golf 7 and then just taking Charlie. Okay. Yeah, if you're looking at a diagram, it helps. <laughs> yep. So we're crossing 19 at the approach end. Like okay. straight on Charlie. 214. Good to go. To go? Yeah. So the ground experimental 111 Delta Wheel. Clear on front. Check. Experimental 111 Delta with the Republic Ground Taxi to Atlantic Vehicle. Just gonna put the flaps on here. That's a 5 inch Victor. It is a uh, I got it. runway 14 Charlie intersection departure. 14 Charlie will cross 19 at Golf 7. 5 inch Victor. Which is where? Uh, continue straight ahead. It's gonna be, so that's the approach end of runway 19. And it's going to be the first right. Okay. Usually they read it differently than that. Just cross 19 or golf 7 Charlie to 14. There was something about the order, it just, I'm like, without looking at a diagram too, it didn't help. It is emphasizing that it's a departure from Charlie. Okay. Uh, Republic ground, uh, arrow. You're good, keep going. Oh, okay. I'll carry on the Charlie, uh, I'll do the attack to back diagram. It's the airplane graveyard, so Charlie, this way. Alpha 1, cross runway 1. Yeah, black square, Charlie, black square, oh, yeah. you're there. Yep. And the Bravo one is facing that way. Okay. It's a shame to see all these planes sitting here not flying. Just put planes that are not flying over here, just to give them... Yeah, well, uh... Republic Jet Center bought out a lot of the echo ramp. Oh yeah. Uh, for transient aircraft. So those were on the echo ramp, and if they're not airworthy, they're like, all right, we're not letting them stay there. You got to put them somewhere else, and that's where they chose. Okay. Mixtures full, rich. Runway assignment, compass heading verify. We are taking off from runway one four. And it makes sense. We're pretty much 90 degrees to it right now. Okay. I'll close my window. Alright, so before we end up on the runway, what, let's think about how we're going to connect for that wind. Okay, take so, off. so I don't have the... Um, 
on the wind right now. Yeah, but the Bravo Charlie, we can throw so two. the winds are for, off to my right. Uh -huh. and, and, uh, and when I taxi, I would you know do that okay. as well. Okay. Uh, so I would I'm gonna have a right correction. Yeah. I can taxi to whole short line. Yes, you can. Have you ever seen one of those Piaggio? Oh yeah, that's I have. Those are wild. For the two pusher props and the canard on the front. Yeah. It looks like a catfish. <laughs> it does. It's got whiskers. Sound like a weed whacker. <laughs> but they have a high RPM. Uh, I don't even know, but I just it's like one I think it's the fastest turbo prop. Really? They cruise out like at 400 knots or something oh, wow. like that. It's really aerodynamic because of the fact that, uh, like that canard, rather than having a large uh, elevator that has a downforce in the back, it has a canard which is lift in the front. So all of the three lifting surfaces, other than wings and a tail that's moving down. Oh, wow. It's got that Concord like little yeah. instant. This is like Bravo Alpha to one four. We will be standard departure and then eastbound out of Just one. make sure we switch up. Roger and done. Well, once we get out to the practice area, I want to kind of mess around with the G one thousand a little bit. Like put in uh, direct to ice slip and we can also get all the frequencies over here and sort of set it up, listen to the weather talk to New York Approach and then talk to Tower. Uh, so just about exercising the use of the G1000. It's a good uh, he, he looks heavy today. Oh yeah, it's kind of waffling off. Kid, he's taking a long time to drop. Gear doesn't go up. No gear up? No nope. gear up on It's fixed gear. Oh. And the uh, in the amphibian, the gear goes up. We didn't hear the call. We didn't hear a call to like put him on the runway. Yeah. Uh, our volume was down. The, like middle fifty. Yeah. Delta Zero Joint Alpha, extend down on clear base. Extend down with eight two zero Joint Alpha. There's air flex return. Traffic no factor. They're below you now and up to 600 feet on the northwest heading south. Traffic is safe. Fox Trot Tango. Bravo Charlie's done. We can clear here. So Bravo Charlie, uh, Roger, you can turn right on runway one, ground point six. Right. Republic Tower Cessna 1158 Victor, 14 Charlie, ready for takeoff. Cessna 39 Sierra, runway 14, full length clear for takeoff. Left turn out to the north is approved. Wind 230 at 9. Three nine here, clear for takeoff, clear to the north. Twin South Fork, Romeo runway one four, clear to land departures, fire to arrive. Twin South Fork, Romeo runway one four, clear to land. One four, clear to land, four o'clock. Just on one five, Victor, Republic Tower, hold short of runway one four, Charlie intersection. Holding short, five eight, Victor. One three five nine three is next on Nelson. Just on one three five nine three, Republic Tower, hold short of runway uh, one four, full land. Hold short of runway one four, full land. Cessna one three five nine. Those little dangly gear. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a one seventy two RG. A uh, one eighty two. I think that would be a nice plane to have. Oh yeah. I would love to be in a share on one. Yeah, it holds more weight. It's faster. Fire Victor, runway 14, Charlie intersection, clear for takeoff, straight out of proof. Wind 21010. Clear for takeoff, 58 Victor. Alright, fuel's on both, mixture rich, lights.
full aileron. Uh, airspeed's alive, engine's green. Get that right rudder in there. Uh, six, 600 feet inbound, request uh, golf six with uh, Papa. Okay, 2614 Delta Republic to report the landfill at or below 600 feet, Republic altimeter 3006. Below 600 feet, report to landfill 14 Delta. I'm going to stay 42, join the left downwind for runway 14. Stay 42, join left downwind for 14. Fork Romeo Echo Ram. If I'm sure we exist in that call. Fork Romeo, right turn golf, ground point six. Right turn golf, ground point six, thanks. Alright, then we can take a look at the climb checklist. That's the 593, runway 14, full left, we could take off straight out of wind, 2109. First full, flaps are retracted. That's the 1353. Which lights turn the landing light off, or? Yes. It just strobes and beacon. Clear to land. Clear to land, runway 14820. That's the extended runway center line there? Yeah, the yeah. hash line. Okay. Say zero zero is about three miles north of cat three inbound for another problem. All right, so we're clearing the uh, Delta airspace from Farmingdale, so let's go ahead and give New York Approach a call on 120.05. New York Approach, Cessna 1158 Victor. Cessna 1158 Victor, New York Approach. 58 Victors, Cap Tree 2000, requesting traffic advisory south practice area. Cessna 1158 Victor, Swap 4357. 4357, 58 Victor. Sister 1158 Victor, altimeter 3003 and uh, radar contact. 3003, 58 Victor. This is 3 anchor right, so traffic 2 miles northwest. Put the altimeter in there. Under eastbound. It's by 3 anchor tango. Uh, we Call it 25 or 2,000 or 2,500. Okay. Either or. Oh, um, altimeter bug. And whenever you're ready, make sure there's no traffic, and we'll do a steep turn. To the right. You're right. Two Fox Trot Alpha, contact uh, approach 125.7. 25.7, Fox Alpha. Approach uh, 734 Quebec Zulu, checking in with you, 700 feet. 734 Quebec Zulu, New York departure, rate of contact, uh, proceed on course, cancel altitude restriction. Altitude and, uh, on, and on course for uh, four Quebec Zulu. Traffic for you, uh, 12 o'clock and two miles uh, indicates 2,000. So we went a little past the starting uh, heading. Four miles uh, indicates 3,200 maneuver. A little trick, uh, if you want to roll out on a certain heading, let's just call it east. What you want to do is take half your bank angle, and that's how many degrees you want to start rolling out beforehand. Okay. So if we're at 45 degrees of bank, start rolling out like 20. That's a pretty significant amount of, yeah. Okay. Right, so each kind of longer line here is 10 degrees, so if you start rolling out at 070, out of the steep turn, it'll work out. Okay. All right, whenever you're ready, we'll do one to the left. All right. This matter to Hotel Foxtrot, traffic one mile north of you. Eastbound altitude indicates 1,400. We're looking for a field of Foxtrot. Bank coming in. 
Right at that line is 45 degrees, the short line. Oh, that's right, okay. That's different from down here. Right, I'm like, yep. I didn't go enough on that on the right turn then, yeah. About 110 degrees, we'll start that roll out. And we hit it. That was our weight. Cool. Alright, so we can start, let's start thinking about how to get into Islip now. Okay. So what's the first thing we want to do? Uh, Locate it. Or, oh, what was that? Locate it. Or, you know, right, so we could do that. We could throw a direct to Islip in there. And then get, and then get its weather. And uh, try to, you know, All right. information. Hudson Corridor, affirmative. Right, Let's go ahead and do that. So uh, we can go with the nearest function. 4350, just a heads up, you're probably going to get four other requests for the uh, same thing today. Okay. Correct. Correct. And then enter twice. Just 158, Papa Golf, rate of contact, altimeter 3003. Okay, so it's just to our left. Five, five, All right, so before we turn inbound, let's kind of get situated, get our weather and everything. Okay. So that we would go to... Establish quick for the ILS 24 approach, one of the five five. Just 5 e Victor traffic, two miles southwest to eastbound, altitude indicates 3,000, and uh, two miles west to eastbound indicates 2,100. Looking for traffic, 5 e Victor. So what's the easiest way to get right back to the map from any screen? Trying to do not in the quarter technically, but at get back to the map from any screen. Map. Right top of golf edge. Oh, you just hold that clear button. That'll bring you back to that home map. Okay. Traffic. Uh, traffic behind us, above us. Southeastbound and traffic okay. two miles southeast. He indicates three thousand three hundred in the practice area. I have the traffic way out there in sight. Okay, we're looking. 99 on top of shot. We have one in sight. Terminal State 55, contact Long Island Tower, 119.3. Good day. If you want, you can just descend down to 2000. Okay. Separate ourselves from the traffic, traffic above. This is lighting up yellow just because it's Cause somewhat, it's somewhat within of a, factor. a certain range. Okay. I think it's within a mile. Correction? The, yes, okay. correct. That's good. Hope I got him over there. This is one of those dilemmas. He's a low wing, we're a high wing. We can't see each other. Yeah. I got him in sight now. Okay. All right, let's use that altitude bug to light up 2,000 feet. There you go. And so we can go back to what we were doing now that we're clear of traffic. All right, let me just get the planes. Absolutely, always let the plane first. about that. So if we want to listen to it, okay. but we still want to be talking to New York, how do we do that? Group level 1,600 request by follow. Um, so we would listen. what are we monitoring now? Com one, com 1 and 2. Okay. And which frequency is COM2 monitoring? Around at uh, Republic. Okay. Yeah. So we need to get this frequency down there. How do we do that? Three zero zero yes. two. Um, zero two. We do a flip flop, but it's going to try. It's going to flip these if I do it right. How do you select the bottom? 
Um, do you want a bike? This one? No? Yeah, give it a click in. Ah, there you go. New York approach, uh, one zero eight hotel box, I'd like to return back to ice lift for the switch goes. Marie Hotel Fox, try to enter left downwind runway 24. Left downwind for runway 24, one zero eight hotel box. Right now, if I touch the volume, it'll touch. Okay, it'll. So, whatever one there's a box around, it's going to change that volume. Right. So we should theoretically be hearing there at the A to. I just double check the frequency you put in. Oh. Ah. 2072. Lights out of service. Taxi Bravo, elevator guard, life runway 624 out of service. I slip Navio, T out of service. I slip runway 24 out of service. Taxi Bravo, elevator guard, life runway 624 out of service. I slip Navio, T 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 out of service. I slip Navio, T
We're going to be sort of flying directly to the airport and then entering the pattern. Okay. For now, we can just turn inbound and then we'll tell New York Approach we're heading inbound. Uh, one more thing we can do is what's the next frequency we're going to be expected to use? Um, tower. Alright, so let's get that into standby so that we can just switch it over when necessary. Uh, 119.3. 55169, uh, can we, uh, descend now? Alright. So, if it's down here, we can either put it in the active of COMP 2, or we can put it in the standby of COMP 1. Okay. Um, and then, and then we would just flip it by pushing the button. New York on one. Uh, careful. So if we want to talk on it, we have to hit the mic button. Ah. Right. What, what, is it better to put it in the standby up top? Then? I typically always use the top comp for talking. Okay. So whatever I'm going to be talking on, that's where I, where I put it. Hotel Foxtrot, Roger. And uh, flight heading three. And all you have to do is just push that button. Why heading at 300? Zero, zero. Well, that's when I'm ready to. Okay. Right, because for example, say we're inbound and they say new weather came out. Then we want to, if we want to listen to the weather again, all we have to do is that, so we can still listen to the weather after right. we switch the tower. Contact, proceed on course, climb to requested altitude approved. Right. So go ahead, bring us back to the home page. Hold the clear button. Hold it. Yep. So let's turn to the airport and let them know we're going there for touch and go. Alright. What are you doing on time? Yeah, we've got another 45, 40 minutes. Okay. We're down to Hotel Foxtrot, traffic uh, half mile south, the indicates 2,600. Okay, now I feel the function. New York Approach, Cessna 1158 Victor is inbound to uh, Islip uh, for touch and goes. Ray Papagraph, contact approach 120.8. Do you have the airport in sight? Two miles indicates 1,300. All right. Uh, Ray Papagraph 120.8, looking for that traffic. New York Approach, Cessna 1158 Victor inbound to Islip, requesting touch and goes. 5A Victor, enter left downwind, runway 24. Left downwind, 24, 5A Victor. We're not in our hotel, Foxtrot, Fox We're gonna do that. Heading to right. zero, we're not in our hotel, Foxtrot. Really a direct heading to the airport, which is what we want to do. 25 decimal seven, stand. Running, uh, Traffic. I got him in sight. It's on there. To like trying to see the plane and see it up here, you get something. This starts to make more sense. Right. Good day. This Cirrus that actually shows up on here, where it'll be in your sight. Oh really? That's Pretty cool. We're five eight Victor, contact the Long Island Tower one one nine or point three. Contact Tower five eight Victor. Yeah, I've messed you up before. Oh, that's okay. Uh, just click that in, then you can switch it. We do have to tell them inbound with golf, right? Yeah. Okay. Long Island Tower, Cessna 1158 Victor, inbound for touch and goes with golf. Cessna 1158 Victor, Long Island Tower, enter the mid left downwind for runway 24. Mid left downwind, uh, midfield downwind for 24, 58 Victor. All right, and what's the traffic pattern altitude? Say 1,000 or 1,100, 1,100. All right. And we can also verify that here. If we go to that same page, just click over. 89 feet is the field elevation. Okay. So 1,000 above that, that is 1,100. So let's put it in with in the altitude bug. The large knob is thousands, small knob hundreds. There's Bayport, Aerodrome, the grass strip. Ah, I was there a few weekends ago. They had us appreciation, appreciation, all the 
aircraft were flying people. Cool. Very, very cool. Three five five early right crosswind to follow the Skyhawk. Uh, stop your right side now. Okay, early right crosswind traffic inside State five five, and then uh, after this next one, the BLS would like to go back to the Republic at or below fourteen. With you. From Middle State five five, Roger. Number five six four kilo runway two four at the intersection. Line up and wait. All right, so I'll read off the checklist for you. Mixture rich. Yep. Check bill selector. Both seven ninety eight. Autopilot's off and flaps at negative And landing light. Ninety eight. Roger. Hold short runway. Landing light on. Thirty four. Number two zero Charlie Sierra, you're going to be number two behind a Cherokee on the mid right down. I just typically like to zoom it in a little bit so we can see traffic a little better. Number two for the zero zero Charlie Sierra. November 1158 Victor, extend down with a follow bonanza on a five mile final. Extending down with 58 Victor. Southwest 798 ready. Southwest 798 Roger, hold short runway. Bombs are on point today, that's good. Southwest 798. Thank you. Farmville State 55. Oh, extend means don't really descend, so we're going to bump. And I always advise 10 degrees of flaps oh, when we're passing the numbers, which we just did. Below 110. Correction, runway 24, mid left downwind, runway 24. Mid left downwind, 24, 999 Hotel Fox Number 108 Hotel Fox Truck, minimal time on your touch and go. Correction, 998 Hotel Fox. Number 20 Charlie Sierra, change of sequence. You're going to follow Skyhawk on the left downwind about a, a mile from the approach. And let me know when you got him inside. He's at your one, 11 o'clock, two and a half mile. Looking to you, Charlie Sierra. Number 20 Charlie Sierra, additional traffic holding on uh, position Boeing 737. But when you put in 10 degrees of flaps, the, the plane naturally wants to go to a higher angle of attack, so you do need, usually you need to trim it, that forward trim, right? Uh, yeah, once a lower angle of attack. Lower. Like oh. the nose is going to come down a little bit. Okay. Initially, it'll want to climb. Right. He's extending to follow you. So initially, you just push forward a little bit. And then just adjust the trim as necessary. Typically nose down trim. Uh, 1158 Victor, traffic bonanza is at your 11 o'clock, 1 mile, 1200. You got up in sight? Traffic's in sight, 58 Victor. November 1158 Victor, you're number two uh, behind that traffic. Number two, 58 Victor. Traffic. Okay, state 55, extend on the down when once established. Well, that was established. There's a lot of antennas out here, so Early be careful. Right Right I just, and the, the land kind of rises over here a little too. Yeah, quorum. Four kilo contact departure. Uh, Going to departure, have a good one. Five, six, four kilo. That's one thing you got to watch out for, especially at night. It was a good, good call not to descend yet. Two full length, but estimated two three zero one one clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Right. November. He's like well not a factor anymore. We got plenty of room. I got room, but I'm going to stay at altitude because this is, and just because we're they're away too. So I got the guy in the left downwind side. From Middle State by five. Follow this guy. He's turning base now at your uh, one o'clock two miles. Uh, your number three. Now we got the traffic side turning base, then we'll follow number three. Uh, for orientation. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. Well, Charlie Sierra, clear flat. Number 1158 Victor, you're clear touching go number two. After you're touching go, make right close traffic, squawk be far in the pattern. Uh, clear touching go, 58 Victor, make right traffic. Promise to stay 55, you're clear touching go. And squawk VFR in the pattern. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and squawk VFR. Clear touching go, and clear touching go, maintain runway and get above 14 for Promise to stay 55. Number one zero eight hotel Foxtrot left three sixty. Left three sixty one away. The plane on a stabilized so approach here. Contact departure good day. Go to departure seven seven ninety eight. Long gone south sky five fifty nine Fox Alpha. Oh eighty five. Stack five thirty nine Fox Alpha Long Island Tower hold short runway uh, two four at the intersection. Hold this short runway two four, five fifty nine Fox Alpha. Number 1158 Victor, uh, Skyhawk departure prior to your arrival. 58 Victor. Zero. Number, November 539 Foxtrot Alpha, runway 24 intersection, clear for takeoff, make uh, right close traffic, sir. Traffic, my traffic. final. Wind check. Wind estimated 240 at 10. Thank you. Right down the runway. Feels a little from the left, but or maybe even the right. 
Do you say it was? Right down the runway. I'll have to reestablish Yeah, I feel like I'm correct. 99 Hotel Fox, at extend that one. Your number four in sequence. Extending the downwind, 99 Hotel Fox. Hotel, could Hotel Fox to S10 for spacing. 108 Hotel Fox, S turns approved well, for spacing. I typically add control. a little power now. You're clear, touch and go number two. S turns approved, number two, clear, touch and go, 108. Hotel. Go right rudder. Number 99 Hotel Fox, you're passing a Cherokee off your left wing. Additional traffic is a Skyhawk right behind him. You got him in say? I have the Skyhawk. 99 Hotel Fox, right. Number 99 Hotel Foxtrot, follow the Skyhawk. Uh, 55. Forward and submit a 24010, touch and go. Clear touch and go 24 behind the Skyhawk, 99 Hotel Foxtrot. Just not available. It felt like the elevator was heavy, like, right. took yeah, requiring. It, it does feel heavy. I noticed that yesterday. About uh, two and a half, three miles. It just a little more lube on here, I think, huh? As long as it's not my imagination. I know it's not good that I, I could always ask him, but um, he said make traffic? Right traffic. Right traffic. You could just say confirm right traffic for 58 Victor. Confirm five, uh, right traffic for 58 Victor. November uh, 1158 Victor, affirmative, you're following a Skyhawk off your right wing now, you see him? Yes, uh, he's in sight. 58 Victor, right traffic. Are you looking for a Skyhawk on a two-mile final? It's better to ask for confirmation than to make the wrong turn. Go or take a guess, yeah. That's two, three, your number, uh, number two behind that Skyhawk, runway 24, when estimated 24010, clear land. Number two behind the Skyhawk, clear to land, Badger 2, 3. Alright, so... You got traffic on the right crosswind in sight. Let's, uh, let's tell t Tower that this is going to be the last touch and go, and we'd like to depart to Farmingdale. 11 o'clock, there on that right crosswind. Behind him, turn right heading 270, maintain out of below 1,400. Behind the traffic, 270, out of below 14, for Farmingdale State 55. Farmingdale State 55, when able, squawk 4353. 4353, from Farmingdale State Long on Tower, Skyhawk, Fox 3, now Fox Alpha, right midfield for 1 way 24. You might just want to throw in, depart to Farmingdale at or below 1,400. Uh, Otherwise, they'll probably give us back to New York approach. Okay. Uh, tower, 5-8 Victor, this is going to be a last touch and go with a request to depart back to Farmingdale at or below 1,400. 5-8 Victor, Roger. 5-8 Victor. November 733, Yankee Tango, extend that one. Number nine, two, Hotel Fox, I follow the sky. Sometimes they just come out right. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That's perfect. I think. Measure, tw measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Yeah, can't go with sensor. Extended three, you can take Number one, one, five, eight, Victor, you got traffic off your right wing inside on the side. Traffic's inside, 5 Victor. 5 Victor, turn base, runway 24, with 22010, clear touching, after touch and go, fly runway heading, maintain out of below 1,400. Uh, right base, uh, we'll maintain at 1,400, uh, runway heading, 5 Victor. Number 99 Hotel Fox, sir, extend upwind, I'll call your uh, crosswind. Alright. 99 Hotel Fox, sir, welcome. 5 Step 5, radar service is terminated, squawk via far, frequency change approved. So we can kind of plan ahead a little bit as well. So we're two, three runway heading, but then we're going to be told to go direct to Farmingdale. Right, so we, it would be good to head in there, but get it in. Yeah, I mean, we have the runway in sight. We, we don't... Victor, expect a Global Express departure prior to your arrival. Slow it down, sir. Slow it down, 5 Victor. Number 108, Hotel Fox, our left 360. What I was saying was we don't need ISAB in here anymore. We could just put direct to Farmingdale. Okay. Yankee Tango. Oh, let's fly the plane first. Base turn now. Traffic on a two and a half mile base is a Skyhawk. Let me know when you got him in sight. There's a base turn. We're looking for Yankee Tango. I told the Fox truck keep following that Skyhawk. Keep following the Skyhawk. November one one five eight Victor. Keep your speed up. Your clear low approach for runway two four. We'll keep the speed up, you have to slow down, 5 Victor. Low approach? Low approach, sir. I, I, I gotta get this jet out, and I got too many uh, rivals behind behind you. 
Uh, understood. Low approach. Fire Victor. What does he mean by uh, just an answer? Because I really didn't know. Uh, low approach just means. Victor, one able squawk four three five one. Forty three fifty one. Uh, it just means don't do a touch and go. It's just a miss. Uh, go around. We're five three nine Foxtrot. Uh, Copy left wing now. Four three five one in there. Uh, so he doesn't want us to actually go and uh, landing. Nope. Uh, oh, lower pro. I got it. More left three sixty. More left three sixty. One away from the fox. Seven three four Quebec Village. Then you can go around at any point you want. Yeah, I'm following him now. Folks. Now he wants me runway heading, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, right now we're making left 360. Roger. Is it a rate to climb? Number 945 Alpha Foxtrot. Traffic is going around now. Runway 24, line up and wait. Additional traffic, mile and a half. Final Skyhawk. Okay, line up and wait. Runway 24, November 945 Alpha Foxtrot. November 1158 Victor. Turn right, heading 280. 280 on the heading, Private Victor. Alright, so 280, so heading 280, right away. From 945 off of Fox, our runway 24, when 220 at 9 are clear for takeoff. And takeoff, runway 24, November 945, Alpha Fox. And November 539, Fox, you're off of turn left into the crossroad. Okay, you're in that turn, thank you very much, sir. For 733 Yankee Tango, can you make S turns for SpaceX? So we'll make the uh, so throw in direct to Farmingdale. Okay, tower 108, hold the box. We made the uh, still left 360 for you. Number 108, hold the box. We made the uh, still left 360 for you. Number 108, hold the box. Uh, double enter. 733 Yankee Tango, uh, go around, sir. Just keep keep 280 on the heading until he says. Yankee Tango, you can sidestep to the right, fly runway heading for now. Number 8, runway heading 3. 280. Your radar contact altitude. 1,500 Baker. Long tower, 75 Fox Romeo, ready to go at uh, go. Uh, I'll put the altitude in there. 58 Fox Romeo, hold 1,400 at or below. November 92 Hotel Fox Romeo. Can't even just level off here. I'm going to have to go Yankee Tango, uh, extend upwind, and I'll call your right crosswind, sir. Extend upwind, you'll call the crosswind, 3 Yankee Tango. Number 945, Alpha Fox, are you squawking 7135? April, November 945, Alpha Fox. Up. November 45, Alpha Fox, or contact departure, good day. Have a nice day. Pull the power back a little bit. I know it's a Fox, I've extended down. Number 99er, Hotel Fox, Rod, extend downwind, sir. 12665? Correct. Oh, yes, sir. Thanks for the help. Sure, so then move it over to active. Making things on the right there. We'll be a full stop. And once we. 115 Victor radar service is terminated. Squawk via far frequency yeah. approved. Oh, and uh, traffic at your 11 o'clock, 4 miles, 2300 on a, a northbound turn. Type unknown, altitude unverified. Good day. Good day, 5 8 Victor. Alright, so VFR. Squawk VFR. Sending down with 3 Yankee Tango. 539 Foxtrot Alpha, turn base now. Okay. And let's just switch the whole comp down to the weather so we don't have any distractions. Okay. So go ahead. Mike 2. 404 and Bravo at the approach end of runway 1 closed. Taxiway out. Runway 1. Tower on top. 118.8. Babylon NDB not monitored. IFR departures advise ground control for taxi at your IFR. Read back all runway host short instructions. Read back all runway assignments. Read back all altitude assignments. Advise your public town initial contact. You have latest information. Quebec. Quebec. All right. We just have to call them before we enter the Delta. Airport information. Quebec. Time one four five three Zulu observation. Wind two one zero at eight. Visibility one zero. Ceiling one thousand eight hundred broken. Temperature two 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 point one eight. Altimeter three zero zero six. ILS approach. Three zero zero six. Runway one four. Notice to airmen, runway 19 are closed. Bravo 4 and Bravo at the approach end of runway 1 closed. Taxiway out uh, between Alpha 4 and Alpha 5. We have Quebec. Okay. On NDB, not monitored. Uh, IFR departures uh, advise ground control for taxi at your IFR. Just don't, don't go above 1400. Back all runway assignments. Uh, well, now you can actually. We just left the Charlie. Roger, public town initial contact. You have latest information, Quebec. What, uh, what position would you give here? Uh, that's... Right over the VOR. 
Here. Another thing you can do, not completely necessary, but you can throw ground at the bottom so that once we're off the runway, we can just switch right ground. So, like when it comes to instrument stuff, it's all about thinking ahead. What's the next step? What can I expect to happen? Right. all about staying ahead of the aircraft. So once you get behind the aircraft, it's hard to play catch up. The uh, building with the, the large hangar is the approach into 1-9? Yes. Right? Okay. That's helpful. Yep, so I'll just go direct midfield right now, and that'll be perfect for the downwind. And let's put the altitude bug for Pattern altitude. Set for? Altitude bug for pattern altitude. Okay, there you go. Katana 763 Delta Charlie, hold it short. Do you want to be at pattern altitude entering the pattern? 763 Delta Charlie, Republic Tower, line up away 14, Cessna left. Victor, Katana departs priority, Rava, clear to land, runway 14. Clear to land, 5 Victor. It's always a good idea to say which runway. I'm going that after. Because I've watched people land on the wrong runway. I can see it happening. Yeah. So you're like using one four, one four, because we don't use one four that often. At least it seems that way. Beam the numbers, slowing the plane down, 10 degrees below 110. And we're cleared to land. Cleared to land. Try to make a clean pattern here. I'm just gotta check what the wind is. Three Zulu up to Visibility 1-0, ceiling 1,800 
doesn't look like 1,800 broken. Looks a lot more scattered to me. Again, I mean, you don't want to focus on a certain RPM because it, right. it's going to change Different based aircraft. on when you start your descent, what the winds are doing. Better get better at knowing, seeing trends and adjusting for them, right? Yeah, I mean, if you just pull power to idle now. It would, yeah. And you just keep the nose down for the airspeed. And then if you think our sync rate is too fast, you can just add a touch of power. We have wind from the right. That's going to be right aileron and left rudder. We have a pretty quick descent rate, so we can add some power, and that'll kind of shallow our descent to sort of smoothen it out. Ending. Add left rudder. Add that back pressure. And all the way in. There you go. That's why we're kind of skipping across the runway. Just keep it all the way in there. That's a direct crosswind today. Our idle will make a left. Just keep that in there, though. You going to FI? Affirmative. All right, left take off with tower. Left golf with you, fighting anchor. Like today was good. It's got a lot of different things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to put us in different scenarios and really use the power of the G1000. Yeah. And by good, I don't mean I did good. I, do, I mean the variation of things. I mean, you can't expect to ace everything. It's been a while. Yeah. <sighs> Rust the hold short line. I'm going to open my window. Hey, guys. Um... Just finished up this lesson with Sebastian after too, too long of a time from my last uh, flight, um, maybe a little more than two and a half months, um, I mentioned it on the front end of the video. So that was not a good idea. Um, it wasn't horrible, but definitely t takes away a confidence that I was starting to build. Um, and also I will say, so I don't know the exact reason why I let so much time go by. I know part of it was, like I was saying before, I was so close to getting to that point of being solo on my own and I maybe in my mind I just was not I didn't even though I was performing well for Sebastian I don't know if I felt fully comfortable to be doing that yet and I definitely wanted a few more lessons with him and I was trying so hardly to get those and he had no time on his schedule because of his new job that he got fortunately he's back now um, but it like basically was my whole summer and it's already October it was like I think my last flight was in mid mid earlier mid July and it's now October early October so that wasn't a good idea uh, again I'm, I'm gonna try to give suggestions where I can where I feel like I'm making mistakes or I've made mistakes the other thing is the G1000 is new to me and that's where I left off at where it's new to me and I think I think that uncomfortable feeling I was getting from the G1000 um, was giving me a reason to like take pause and, and not go back back up right away it's a weird feeling because I know ultimately it's going to Ultimately, it's going to help me. It's going to be a great tool. Um, there's so much information there, but it's just when it's thrown at you and you're not used to it, it can uh, it can hurt before it it gets you you know makes you feel better, and then you can utilize all of the great functions and and it can become very safe for your flying. So that's about it. Um, I would have, in hindsight, tried to not let so much time lapse. I have another flight tomorrow, which is great. Weather's looking good, so fingers crossed. And thanks for watching.